Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look, this outfit, this hair, everything today, my, including my scent, okay? We're getting a little personal, my scent, my daily scent in today's video. So if you guys want to see that, see this little get ready with me, relax, catch some vibes, then please keep watching. Of course, the minute I start trying to record, my little doggy start barking. <laughs> We're gonna do a full on thing today. So I'm gonna start off with my Tula Get Toned Pro Glycolic, Glycolic, Glycolic 10% Resurfacing Toner. I really like this one. I like to take it on a little cotton um, ball or cotton pad. I prefer a cotton pad, but I didn't feel like finding them today. And I'm just gonna apply it all over. And it helps also, you know, get rid of any makeup that you may have left over we don't want that today today we're gonna relax while getting ready but we want our skin to look good in the end see can you see that it really helps this is a great toner and it's lasted me a while and i don't regret it i'm gonna save the hair for last i know it looks a mess too bad. Next, I'm just going to go into this lip balm that I've been using. It's the Mary Kay Satin Lip Shea Butter Lip Balm. Um, this is just one that I reach for because I have it. Um, it's really good, but I prefer either this one, which I feel like is a bit thicker. Not in a bad way. Um, but I also really like to use the Laneige one. Um, I think it's a peach. I love it. I love the way it smells. Everything 10 out of 10. I just don't feel like getting it right now. And I really do switch between these two. It's really, really good. So next I'm going to go ahead and go into my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. I normally use either this one or the First Day Beauty. But this one has SPF 15. And I need all the SPF that of course I can get. So... And then... I'm really prepping the skin today and then I'm gonna go into some hyaluronic acid from the ordinary it's hyaluronic acid 2% and B5 um, I like to do this sometimes I don't do it every day but I'm gonna just take one drop I'm gonna rub it in and kind of rub it into the skin I mean I think you're supposed to put your you know serums on then a moisturizer to kind of lock it in but I'm gonna do other steps so I don't think it's gonna really matter too much but next I'm gonna go into my derma blend professional loose setting powder and I'm just gonna take that on like this big equal tools brush this helps with the makeup staying on this really helps with my mask and it also gives me a really flawless face I Learned this trick the other week when I was doing a TikTok hacks video. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. And I really like it. I'm gonna then set the skin with some setting spray. I'm almost out and I just opened it. <laughs> I love it. Then today I'm just gonna go on top of that because then you add primer last. And I'm gonna use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Finish Filter Finish Protective Primer. I don't use this one all the time, but it's <sighs> bougie. Like, hello. It's such a smooth primer. I actually never tried it with this technique, but it's a little bit thinner than the primer that I normally use, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty, which I love. I'll never not use. But I feel like this could low-key be a better combination because it's not as thick as the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which doesn't cause an issue, but for some people it may. And it smells pretty good too. This is a good one, the Tatcha. You guys are zoomed in a bit more. I'm going to go and start off with the brows. So for the brows, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in shade Medium Brown. I love this. <laughs> I love it. Then I'm just going to go into like this concealer brush by e.l.f. Um, it has a good angle, but I don't prefer to use this, but I don't feel like finding my original brush. So I'm just going to go into the brows. prep my eyes and also sculpt the brows with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which 
I have to say I love, I've been using it for a few weeks now. look I mainly wanted to use this elf x gen atkin um let's elfing do this palette this is in the shade or the palette medium deep I think it's such a beautiful palette I love it I like how it has like eyeshadows bronzer blush highlight so I'm gonna use the eyeshadow shades today I guess I don't know I typically like e.l.f.'s eyeshadows, so I'm going to go into the first shade and kind of just use that as an all-over to kind of set whatever we need to and kind of start off with a clean base. Go into the brown shade over here, like the more warm tone, and I'm just going to apply that to the crease really, really lightly because I don't want it to be too deep. That's gorgeous. That's pretty. You see how it gave me like a subtle, soft, like brown look? I love it. Pretty. This palette is on sale too. When I got it, I think it was 50% off. So it's like seven bucks now, I think, which I think is pretty worth it. Well, let me use the eyeshadows first and see how it looks before I say that it's worth it. The same brush, and I'm gonna take the deeper brown. It's more like neutral to cool toned, and I'm gonna apply that to the outer corner. I'm gonna pack it in and then blend like so this really gives you a natural look wow it really is subtle which is pretty which i think makes sense for the palette because i think you can use them too if you wanted to like on the face for anything it's like little contour shades or something this is pretty this is gorgeous. I'm gonna go back into that lighter shade and kind of just add, and then to the lighter brown, like so. This is gorgeous, wow. Okay. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. liquid liner and I'm gonna create a nice little wing. I say little and it's probably gonna be thick, but we'll try. I accidentally made this one thicker while I was going in, but this is pretty. I like this palette. I think what I want to do to kind of create like more a more dramatic effect, I'm going to go into this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush and I'm going to pack on the lighter shade just onto like the inner corner of my eyes to kind of create more of an effect as you can tell the difference. I want it to be a bit brighter than the remainder of the eye. Yeah, I think that made a difference. Not too much, but I like it. Next, I'm going to go into the face. So we've already prepped, you know, prime, prep and prime. And then I'm going to go into the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade 06 Sand Beige. I've been using this lately and I have to say I've been enjoying it. Especially, I've been using it with this um, priming routine that I showed you guys in my last following um, TikTok makeup packs video and that I used today. And it's been stunning. Like, absolutely stunning. And I love how it's like so close to my skin tone. Oh, I really have a hard time like finding my exact skin tone with like the right undertone and everything. And the fact that this one I feel like is quite similar, I like. I also, around the forehead sometimes, I've been using this Cover FX brush. I'm gonna show you guys it. It's this one, it's the, I don't know, it's the Cover FX Custom Application Brush. And I really like it. It has like holes in the center that help with like dispersing product and kind of blending product in. And I love this brush. Um, I started using it like 
within this month so within the month of june and i have to say i really do like it it doesn't leave any lines when i blend out with it either which i think is a big thing um, because normally with the brush you know you'll have to kind of go in and then go in with the beauty blender afterwards but this one you really don't have to then i'm gonna go into my mark jacobs extra shot caffeine concealer in the shade light 140. I like this. It's not too matte and it's not too dewy. I normally don't like watery concealers and I wouldn't say it's watery but it definitely is less thick than what I'm used to. You know I like tart shape tape um, but this one is just not like that. It's I'm gonna I guess I can call it watery but it's not too like dewy or messy on the skin and I really like it because I think it's a good combination with like the foundations that I like to use because I do like to use things that are thick like um Juvia's Place I Am Magic or like something similar would be like Tarte Amazonian Clay and so this kind of really like balances out you know the amount of product that I have because it doesn't look too cakey because it's not so thick it's thinner but it builds very, very nicely. As you can see on the skin right now, it's blending in beautifully. And it was on sale at Sephora when I got it, the concealer. I don't know if it still is, but I think it was like 50% off too. Like, I be catching them sales. I'm sorry. Like, I, I be catching them. Next, I'm gonna go back into my Derma Blend powder and I'm gonna go ahead and just set everywhere I conceal so that we don't crease. And you can take your uh, translucent powder, whatever setting powder that you're using, all over the skin. But recently, I found something that I really, really like to do, and I broke it. <laughs> of course I did, because I love it. But it's the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, and I use it in the shade Matte Tan. And I just go in with like a big fluffy brush and kind of apply it everywhere else. And I also used it to dust away any excess powder I may have from setting underneath the eyes and it just makes my skin flawless. I really, really like it. And I can assure you that especially with the priming hack that I did today, I will see no creasing underneath the makeup, under the mask. Sometimes it would happen to me here. And ever since I started using these items, none, none, nothing. So we're going to go back into the e.l.f. Jen Atkin palette and I'm going to use the contour shade. Remember, this is the one for medium to deep skin tones. I'm going to take this Equal Tools brush. It's very dense and I like this, especially for like a nice precise contour. And I'm going to pack on the color, then blend. What I like about this palette is that it's very buildable, even for the contour shades. Um, I like how it runs a bit warmer, like warm to neutral. I don't know, it's different from what I normally use. And if you guys watch my videos, you see that I use the Kylie Cosmetics Bronzer and Tawny Mommy. They're two completely different shades, and I like that. I can actually show you the difference now because I have it right here. So this is Tawny Mommy. This is the Jen Atkin palette. So you kind of, this one is really good for like your everyday wear, really. Um, I don't need anything crazy today. I'm just doing what I gotta do today. Gonna go out for lunch and be a scholar. <laughs> um, I don't need crazy contour today, you know? I just don't need it. But as you can tell, when it first went on, like, it was lighter and then I was able to build it up. So I think that's what's important about this palette and I really, really like it. I don't know, I love it. I think it's so pretty. I'm next gonna go into the blush shade. I never tried the blush shade yet. I just literally yesterday tried out the contour shade, but I'm gonna go into the blush and get applied to the apples. It's nothing crazy, but I like that. It really goes with the aesthetic, aesthetic of the palette, if you guys can see, I think it's so and for the first time in forever today, I'm going to use highlight. <laughs> but this is such a pretty blush. Oh my gosh. This blends out so pretty together. The shades together blend out gorgeous. You don't see like a harsh line of contour, then blush. It's really, really pretty. 
I'm impressed. And then I'm gonna just take the Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm gonna go into the highlight shade and I'm gonna apply it. Let's see. I don't have any setting spray on. I didn't just spray any setting spray. This is a bare face. Uh, very subtle. I don't really see it too much. But it blends in very well with the other. See, there we go. I think I had to get, normally with e.l.f. highlighters, I noticed even like their baked highlighter blush duo, you really have to get off that first layer to get a nice pigmentation. And this side you saw, I took like a few swatches and swipes to get it. And then this side, I just went straight in and it worked. So I just, you just need to get rid of that top layer, which I don't know why, but they work. This is such a pretty like everyday look. I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my skin with that same Urban Decay setting spray that I have nothing in. And I have to say like, this was pretty like simple packaging, but, and at first I was like, why would they do that? But I actually kind of like it. It's different, you know? And I don't know, I like it. It kind of, I guess it's like how KKW does too, but I don't know. I think it was fine with the collection. I think it matched everything, in my opinion. You guys let me know what you guys think. I'm going to take my ColourPop liquid liner. This is the black one. I think it's in shade numero uno. And I like to create um, little like faux beauty marks. I have two beauty marks that I like to emphasize on the top and bottom of my lip. Well, that was too much. I'll fix it. But then I'm just going to apply very nicely. I like to do it like right above the arch of my brow. I don't know why. But I kind of like to do it like that. These two are looking a mess. So let me go ahead and fix that. I'm going to do that with like some translucent. To kind of just. I'm going to go into mascara now. And this is something I've been loving lately. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I love it. I'm going to show you guys the wand. I love the wand. It really coats the lashes. And you don't need to do it so much. I just do it because I'm literally obsessed with mascara. And I, I love putting like a thousand coats. And that's kind of bad for my lashes. But you really don't need um, that many coats. It's, I just love the wand. It's so thick. It's beautiful. And I love what this does for my lashes. I really do. I love how thick it is. Everything. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm going to go into my ColourPop white eyeliner. It's in the shade Exit. And I'm just going to apply that to my waterline. I love doing this. It really opens up the eyes. I like to do it from the outer corner to the inner corner. like so and then you can kind of just see the difference pay attention but you see it really opened up the eyes and then i'm going to take that same lash perversion mascara and apply that to the bottom lashes next we're going to go into lips so i'm going to take my nyx suede matte lip liner in shade club hopper I'm gonna take this Anastasia lipstick. This is a nude shade. It's in the shade Staycation, and I'm gonna apply that to the center. And then I'm gonna take my Maybelline Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid in the shade 002 Ice, and apply that to the center. do is I like to go in with like an extra light lipstick or concealer shade and apply that to the center after I apply lip gloss and I feel like it just completes the look. I'm weird I know but I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So this is my e.l.f. camo concealer in the shade medium sand. This is one that's running out as you can tell it's running out so I take them and use them as lipsticks. But look look what it does. So I'm going to just dab it on because there's barely anything on the wand because it's running out. Like that. Tell me my ombre lips don't be perfect. Because I like it. So if you don't like it, you're a hater. No. And that is it for the makeup portion. So now we're going to move on to this hair. Terrible. So I took a shower. 
I wet my hair a little bit like on the bottom um, this is a sew-in and I do have a frontal so of course you know I wrap it up when I'm in the shower so I have my headband on and I'm just gonna go ahead and work with the curls so I take a spray bottle and I mix, I'm gonna put a picture of it on the screen. It's like Aussie Curls and it's like a curl defining cream and it really helps define the curls and also just really detangle everything. It's kind of like a big two for one. So that's just what I like to do. And these headbands, I got them from Ulta. I'll link them down below. I love them. Um, I have to get a touch up on like the frontal and everything so I don't really like to wear it out so I've been wearing these headbands it comes in a set with this one and then a black one that has like silver sparkles and I love them they're so easy and they're the cutest things to just add so you can kind of see now the difference between like the hair so this is like the untouched side and this is the defined side These are what the curls are looking like now. So I'm gonna complete my outfit. I'm kind of debating it now. I definitely am gonna wear this top. I think that I look so cute from up here, but I think I wanna change my pants. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my pants and then I'm gonna show y'all and I'm gonna show y'all what I wear every day to kind of smell good, feel good, everything, all of the things. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the outfit headband Ulta top from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, bottoms Lily Pulitzer. So comfortable, I love them. So, and then I'm gonna wear sneakers with them. They're like these Tory Burch sneakers that have this blue, so, cause I gotta wear sneakers. Okay, so the outfit is on and then I'm just gonna go ahead and go into my fragrance. So for today's fragrance, it's going to be the Kate Spade Live Colorfully. Got this for my birthday from my sister and it smells so good. The packaging is so pretty and it smells really good. Um, it's, it's very, it's a very mature scent, but it's very fun at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It's very mature floral and I really like that and I think it's a really pretty summer scent especially if you don't like anything that's too sweet or too strong. This would be your girl so I'm gonna go ahead and just put her on. It just smells so good. I could drown myself in it but that's crazy so that's gonna be it. That is the fragrance for today. Also, before I go, I did want to share with you guys something that I've been using lately. Um, so for my deodorant today, I use the Dove Even Tone with vitamin B3 Tone Restoring Antiperspirant Deodorant. So sometimes I would use a deodorant like this one, for example. Um, this Melaleuca Herbal Deodorant, 24-hour odor protection, whatever. And it's more of like a gel consistency. And I started suffering from really dark armpits. And I didn't understand why, and it was quite annoying and I would try and use toner to help it and eventually over time it went away but then I realized I kind of wanted to test what it was um so I like using secret that's a good one but this one is really good because this one helps restore your natural skin tone under your armpits so if you guys struggle with that with dark armpits or you know that happened after you use a deodorant or something I would definitely try out this one this is what it looks like it smells good it's not a strong scent, it's a very fresh scent, and it's natural, and I love it. It's antiperspirant as well, if you're looking for that, and even skin tone, so I think it's an all for one. Um, so I just wanted to share that because it's a recent discovery that I've been enjoying.
And that is it for my get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos because I've been getting ready for a lot of different things, obviously. And I never record it, and it's a fun process for me. So let me know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hold up, hold up If I lost emotions Show up, if you're down to roll up